my dear brothers and sisters a warm welcome to each one of you for this holy eucharist we pray for all your intentions during this mass in a particular let us pray for israel and palestine and the middle east for peace and harmony in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of the lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit my dear brothers and sisters let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries you were sent to heal the contrite of heart lord have mercy lord have mercy you came to call the sinners christ have mercy christ have mercy you are seated at the right hand of the father to intercede for us Lord have mercy Lord have mercy May almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting Amen Let us pray May your grace O Lord we pray at all times go before us and follow after and make us always determine to carry out good works through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit god forever and ever amen a reading from the letter of saint paul to the romans chapter 6 verses 19 to 23 if i may use human terms to help your natural weakness as once you put your bodies at the service of vice and immortality so now you must put them at the service of righteousness for your sanctification when you were slaves of sin you felt no obligation to righteousness and what did you get from this nothing but experiences that now make you blush since that sort of behavior ends in death now however you have been set free from sin you have been made slaves of god and you get a reward leading to your sanctification and ending in eternal life for the wage paid by sin is death the present given by god is eternal life in christ jesus our lord the word of the lord thanks be to god responsorial psalm our response happy the man who has placed his trust in the lord happy the man who has placed his trust in the lord Happy indeed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked nor lingers in the way of sinners nor sits in the company of scorners but whose delight is the law of the Lord and who ponders his law day and night responds Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord He is like a tree that is planted beside the flowing waters that yields its fruit in due season and who whose leaves shall never fade and all that he does shall prosper response happy the man who has placed his trust in the lord not so are the wicked not so for they like winnowed chaff shall be driven away by the wind For the Lord guards the way of the just but the way of the wicked leads to doom responds Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord Gospel acclamation Alleluia alleluia I am the light of the world says the Lord Anyone who follows me will have the light of life alleluia The Lord be with you and with your spirit 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O God. Chapter 12, verses 49 to 53. Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to bring fire to the earth. And how I wish it were blazing already. There is a baptism I must still receive. And how great is my distress till it is over. Do you suppose that I am here to bring peace on earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. For from now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two and two against three, and two against three. The father divided against the son, son against the father, mother against daughter, daughter against mother, mother-in-law against daughter-in-law, daughter-in-law against mother-in-law. The Gospel of the Lord Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, in today's Gospel, Jesus seems to know that his life will cause huge division, even in the most sacred community of all, the family. He calls his mission a fire. Fire can destroy and leave its marks forever, yet it can strengthen with its huge energy. Our baptism is to enter with Jesus into the fire of love, commitment and conviction. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy Church. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these, your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name, may serve the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation, through Christ our Lord. And so, in the company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, 
Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coheirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teachings, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace lamb of god you take away the sins of the world 
have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my heart. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. My dear brothers and sisters, have a wonderful day. Jesus, your loving Son, come with us.